We're demonstrating the rod reduction as part of the restore pedicle screw system ability to impose a lordotic restoration based on the curvature of the rod being used. The rod has been fixed on one screw and we're going to use one of several options of reduction instruments that we have to reduce the rod on the other screw. This instrument has two prongs that will slide in two tracks on the receiver element and because of the extent of rod that's shown beyond the screw here the, or the receiver element we're going to tilt back to ensure that sufficient rod is present in front of the, re the reduction instrument and squeezing the handle will now reduce the rod on the receiver element and as you can see based on the curvature of the rod a restoration of lordosis or a change in the angle uh, between these two blocks has been demonstrated. At this point we take our provisional set screw driver which holds the set screw driver in a, a friction fit so it doesn't fall out. This reduction instrument has a alignment channel to guide the placement of the set screw. The set screw is turned and as soon as you hear a couple of squeaks that's sufficient. Remove the provisional driver, pull on the lever, make sure that the reduction ring has been retracted fully and remove the reduction instrument. At this point we have other instruments to be used as counter torque instruments for final torquing the uh, set screws or the, or the locking caps to a uh, torque value of 95 inch pounds. You can clearly see the difference between the restore pedicle screw system which ensures that restoration of lordosis is achieved by using a curved rod versus what typically happens with a regular or conventional polyaxial screw system where a curved rod becomes accommodated by the receiver elements, the universal joint, without the restoration of lordosis as signified here by the two parallel blocks as opposed to angled blocks on the left side.